Welcome back, and Joe, next up is a match that we've been very excited for. This rematch between Empire and Optic. Uh, the last time these guys played in LA, it's when Optic finally started clicking. It felt like a series they could have and maybe should have won, but that was Empire's weekend to take it. A uh, lot to look forward to in this matchup, though, for sure. Yeah, I just think uh, since that weekend, there's been some, I don't know, internal issues. It sounds like, again, from the Opti, Opti side of what we've heard. Uh, you know, we've heard Dashies going back to main AR. Where the other side of Dallas, you've just had success again, right? It's just, you know, you won that weekend in LA. You had another semifinal last weekend. They're taking care of business where for Opti Gaming, we're just we're just not sure. Uh, we have no idea again what to expect, and it's a it's a little worrisome. Well, for Optic, we heard what there's there's been a change, right? Like when they saw the improvements, yep. they they moved Dashy from the main AR over to the flex. He was running the MB5. He was getting good numbers with that. Now it seems like they've gone back to what Slash or Dashy now back to main AR. So I don't know what prompted the switch because I think it seemed like we saw improvements. I mean, the first time they got wins was with the other the other role. So I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see how it plays out. Or maybe maybe we'll we'll just see Slash with the main AR and it's like nothing happened. I, I mean uh, everything has been practiced since that point, right? That's true. So That's true. Uh, we'll we'll see what what they'll do in this uh, official match. But yeah, I, I think we're just excited because we saw we saw a glimpse of what Optic could be, and we know how stacked this roster is. Well, now let's take a look at the keys to victory presented by Game Fuel. We're going to take a look at the Empire side of this first. Uh, obviously, not the result they wanted coming off a win at the last event for the Dallas Home Series event. You know, it's their event. They don't have the the home crowd since everything switches to online, but still a disappointing result. And Clay, uh, you know, he got on himself a bit. He has been so good this year, so consistent. He's been putting up numbers with that, that AR. Wasn't able to do it the last event. See if he can turn it around. Yeah, and then focus on the hard point, right? I, I know a big talking point this weekend is for Dallas. If they get out and they go to the semifinals, who are you playing? Probably Atlanta or Chicago in either the semi and or the final. Uh, and your hard point has to be on point versus them, right? You're, you're not, I don't think you're going to get through winning both searches and in, in, in the Dom. So you have to try to win a hard point, at least in one of those series. So definitely have to improve their, or their hard point. And the keys to victory for Optic, we'll take a look at, uh, and I like that. Remember who you are. Yeah, you have, you have some of the greatest Call of Duty players ever. I, I mean, they, they have insane, insane talent on their team. And sometimes, yeah, it feels like maybe it's just a confidence thing. Like maybe they forgot that identity or they just need to remind themselves how good they are. I've said it multiple times. I think it's one good run, one just great performance for them getting back to what we think they should be. Yeah, bring back that mindset, right? Uh, you guys have been champs before. Uh, you've held up those trophies. You know, you should have confidence playing anybody in the world, right? You, you've done it before, so can they do it again? Well, we'll take a look at the quick scope. Now, uh, going to be lopsided, obviously, as Empire has won a tournament. Uh, <laughs> they've had some good results. Optic have two wins to their name in LA as they started out a complete dud early in the year. But we'll still take a look at the numbers and where these guys are. Yeah, like you said, very pretty lopsided, right? 100 CDL points for the Dallas Empire, 20 to the optic gaming side and they got those 20 in los angeles came record a lot more maps played i mean almost 60 maps played for the dallas empire where the other side you're at what, what 30 less than 30 yeah, well, it's actually it's actually uh, crazy to see like that but 15 to 7 matches it's, yeah it's actually crazy that dallas's map record is as close as that like 30 and 28 but i guess they did if you think about what minnesota like that first home series thing they got kind of smoked in their first two series which provide a bit of that and they've improved since then but i i guess if i was just a casual fan kind of think about the fact they've won an event like 30 and 28 is a little bit tighter than he expected to be yeah now take a look at these uh, maps and modes what gunrunner is a repeat we talked about that uh that was when optic was able to win in la uh hackney yard domination that's a repeat that's the one that optic gaming really threw away at that event uh you know the searches are brand new to these guys. That game four also new to the series. Well, let's take a look at the roster card now for your Dallas Empire. If you're not familiar with them, yes, there's some young talent here for sure. Some new players introduced this year, but filled with uh, some of the greatest players we've ever seen. This is your Dallas Empire squad presented by U.S. Air Force, and yeah, you've got the you've got the goat and Crim Six. You got one of the greatest all time in Clayster, and you've got some young talent. Well, I was going to say Hoop, but not even really. He's basically a vet at this point now, getting his first event win recently. But for Shotzi and Illy, I think we've seen improvements consistently this year, and that's all, that's all you can ask for, right? 
Yeah, improvements. Plus, you know, you, they just had a uh, new roster addition in Coach Rambo. Uh, just to see how how his impact will play out through the series. I think he's he's absolutely going to help Shotzi and Ellie. And now for the Optic Gaming team car presented by US Air Force. Uh, yeah, remember who you are. Like, you look at these guys. Like, you think of Kenny, the best player in what? Call of Duty World War II. Slasher, the greatest, or one of the greatest ARs in the history of the game. DJ Haley has been the best player in the game at certain points of his career. Dashy, one of the up and coming superstars. Like there is so much talent on this team. Just remember who you are and what you're capable of. And if things can start to click, God, how much more competitive this league can get if they do start. Yeah, and I think looking at this roster, one impact player, we know he can be an impact player, has to be TJ, right? I, I think if they want success, uh, you, you need consistency from TJ. He's usually the entry man. He's one of the faster play pace players, but you need TJ to go big. Well, I, I'd almost say he's been, if I was picking, like, let's say, top three most disappointing players so far this year, I think TJ is on that list for me because when you think about oh, wow. when, right. when, no, when you think about how when you think about how this game plays, it's a haymaker. No, but like he has. Is that fair? I, I I think that's fair with how he's how he's been performing and how good we know he can be. I know I know most of his years. If you think about last week, he's up and down, right? Like he's either the best player at an event or like he puts up a dud. Like we know he's capable of that, but it's been almost all duds this year. Like there haven't haven't I feel like it hasn't been that many maps where he's just taken over and dominated. Yeah, and then on the other side, for the Dallas Empire, right? I mean, you talk about them, you know, losing to Minnesota last week or two weeks ago, the home series. Uh, you know, their home series in the semifinal. Minnesota was able to bring that back. You know, I think it, that was a bit of an upset for us just because, you know, they played in the LA home series final. Dallas, they were able to beat them, but we know Minnesota is such a solid team. One of the best teams in the world. They were able to bring that back. Well, we're getting ready to hop into our map one here shortly, and... I, what it was the map one that optic were able to win convincingly right like they took control of that one early in the series uh it looked like they might have potential to run away with it the search and destroy though was a blowout as well but ah uh, god i i don't know i think i think i had to do a uh preview of this matchup joe heading into this uh and i believe uh -huh. i believe that i took optic and i might be crazy you took optic in round one yes i did i took i took okay. them to come out of the group and i also took them in this matchup and i think i even said in the video that i'm insane and no one should agree with me but i took optic well, it's just one of I feel like you have invested so much. Yeah, no, it's one I, of those things, I'm listen. Dedicated. It's like Yeah, it's one of those things where you keep saying it and, and, and someone's like, You're an idiot, you're an idiot, and then one event you're gonna hit and everybody's gonna be like, dude, Maven is a genius, man. The guy finally got it. It's like, well, he got the other ten no, ones I mean, wrong. That's, but yeah, that's yeah, been yeah. my entire like history with predictions as a yeah. commentator. I just say something out of left field and sometimes it comes true and I look intelligent. But uh, most of the time I uh, most of the time I'm wrong. Yeah, it's and I'm the one now who I'm staying on top of it, so make sure that doesn't happen. I don't like okay? that. I don't. I don't like when people hold me accountable. Yeah, yeah. Accountable, Joe. I'm. A, I'm, a, I'm an adult. I'm an adult. <laughs> You're, I know you are, uh, but it looks like the players still testing some servers. Obviously, uh, very important for both of these teams. So, well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, we'll be getting into it soon. Well, if there's anyone that's going to want to test these to make sure he is uh, perfect and there are no issues whatsoever, it is Crim6. <laughs> he will probably spend more time making sure that we are in a, in a good spot than anyone else, Joe. Yeah, I, I, I think he will, right? When you talk about Crim, uh, it's been great all year for, I, I think for the Dallas Empire, he's been one of the reasons they've had success. He's been so consistent for what them. What was that one thing that Krim said that they did? It was the craziest thing we'd ever heard. Oh, when he said the stage was lopsided. Remember when we were in Ohio? Shh, come on, you can't be bringing these up, man. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. But uh, before we hop into this, let's take a look at Krim 6. I sort of had a more passion for London than anyone else because shout out to that one fan on Thursday that I walked out, he goes, yo, bro, can I get a picture? And then he said, yo, London was on you guys in scrims. And when I heard that, I was like, I want to beat them bad. So, I mean, that's just what happened. I w that should have been a 5-0, honestly. I'm excited to play them. I mean, you know, that's basically like my old team mixed with the old 100T team, so. J-Cap, I'm coming for you. Cap. I'm never going to unblock you on Twitter, ever. A couple interviews from Krim over the course of this year. Uh, he is never <laughs> someone that ceases to entertain, Joe. 
Uh, I, I'll tell you what, though. When you look at that video, what's different? What's different is that back in the day, heck, even just, uh, you know, what, like a year ago, when he did onstage interviews, he used to has, have to close his ears, right? Because when, when you're doing an interview, the sound's going out. You basically hear yourself twice, and he just couldn't deal with it. So he used to plug his, his no, ear I, holes. I, remember the, I can't do that due to my headset. But, yeah, no, I remember those shots. He had one. Uh, it was a pocket. I remember that was hysterical. But, no, for those of you that haven't dealt with it, when you're talking and hearing your own voice a second later, it is the most difficult thing in the entire world to continue talking. I remember, I think it was like a UMG event years ago that I, I, I actually took off my headset and stopped commentating because I couldn't do it. There was like an echo in my headset. <laughs> and I just walked away. I was like, I can't, I can't do this. It's so, so hard. You just end up sounding like a babbling idiot. So, Krem, I've been there, buddy, and I can appreciate that. It's very, it's very tough. So, but he's getting better, right? I, you know, he's, he's taking the mic. He's taking it away from Rich, and we appreciate that, Krim, if you can keep doing that. Every time you go up with an interview at Rich, just take it away from him and oh, just talk, man. whatever you want. You read a story. It doesn't matter to me. Just make sure Rich isn't talking. And that applies to every single player. That actually might be the biggest downside of the online league is we don't have a way to remove a physical mic from Rich, but... At least I mean, our... we could mute him. I'm the, the production team could probably mute him or something and blame it on him. I haven't. But, uh, you, uh, your audio is messed I up. I don't know. I have him permanently muted on Teamspeak. I haven't heard a single single thing that he said. Uh, but we're just waiting for this to get started. Uh, before we get into it, guys, sorry for the delay. We are going to take a look at a Dallas Empire team video. I was incredibly excited for the Dallas roster as soon as I saw it. From the roster to the branding to the name, the Dallas Empire, I think, is just sick all around. I think Dallas is honestly looking like a very, very strong squad. Krim gives him a bit of a haircut, but then he stabs! I'd say Clay and Krim are the two pillars of Dallas Empire. Your veterans who have seen it all, won it all. They teamed together before, they won championships together. There's definitely some legendary history there. And if this team's good, those are going to be fan favorites. Clayster, the fan favorite, and everybody knows. And then you have the young players. Illy is sort of like your simp this year, like the young guy just turning 18 that has a chance to really be one of the best players. Shotzi, with his skill level, is absolutely absurd. The pros of having young guys is they can, like, teach an old dog new tricks. Clayster is certainly roaring now. Watching Krim and Clay corral these youngsters, that maturing experience, that's going to be one of the biggest challenges they face. The talent on this team is absolutely unreal. They look like the best team in the game. I'm excited to see them play this season. Long live the Empire. and lows of the plus minus statistic first let's take a look at the top five on the high end of things as we get ready for this match to get rocking and rolling between optic and empire uh i believe they're still just checking servers before we hop into that first match and i'm just yeah i'm just waiting i'm, uh, I'm literally I'm just waiting to see you graphic. know same same so, no so those that don't know like just because of how this is all just, existing just in curious. the cloud and online like we've got a little bit of a delay okay. between when we can see it and when it's up but all right there it is so uh, this is uh, entering Chicago, the top five plus minus. I believe we're talking. No idea what that means. Are we talking about the, the, the slang plus minus, I guess, for the overall team? No idea. Okay. Yes. I'm not sure either, Joe. I thought it was going to be top five players when I first heard that this is what we were going to. Uh, but if that must, I mean, it must be for the squad. I guess I'm a little bit surprised to see maybe Rocker at the top of that from a positive standpoint. And then for the bottom five, this is where you don't want to have the high number. Uh, Ultra, a negative 569, but I guess not surprised to see it kind of the bottom tier teams. But I think the thing that stood out the most for me was just Rocker at number one. I mean, when you talk about guys, guys like Yadorex and, you know, sort of the numbers that he's been putting up, Assault, last, you know, two weekends ago. I, I keep wanting to say last weekend, but I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's surprised. I mean, you'd probably think like FaZe or Huntsman, but Minnesota is what we talked about. They've been so good all year. Just a shot of our players now as we get ready to get into it. We've What is Clay doing? I think his camera is froze. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's in, a, he's in a forever smile. Oh, that's a forever smile. That's perfect. Clay looking, looking, uh, looking good. Is that everyone just getting dialed in for this first match? Oh, I think he's resetting the camera. So now we'll see. We'll see him refresh it. <laughs> uh, match about we got to Big Krim with the hat on, bro. I'm, uh, I'm excited. Oh, oh, he's back. Oh, it's, is it working? Maybe, maybe, may. Oh, oh, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. We've all been there. 
All right. We've all been it's there gone. live streaming and your webcam just starts freezing up. Deactivate, activate, deactivate, yep. activate. Like, exactly. <sighs> but now the map fly through is map one will be Gunrunner. Thank you to those of you watching for your patience. We are ready to go. They've tested the servers. And we are locked Tested in. 28 of them, <laughs> actually, I think. I don't know. And we are locked in to map one. Empire versus Optic, our third first round matchup this weekend's tournament. And yeah, it looks like Slasher is going to be on that main AR. So uh, yeah, Dashy, we were, we were talking about it. Dashy's going to go back to his sub and. Yeah, it's where it's where they. No, no, I thought the change was Dashy back sense. to main AR. Yeah, so it looks like Slasher. Yeah, oh, Slasher okay. is keeping so, it. Okay, so what we heard is not... <laughs> they threw a pump fake at everybody. <laughs> so what we heard is not happening. Now, I just saw that. I mean, I saw it versus like a COD Intel account that heard it in a stream or something like that. But it, it surprised me quite a bit just because we finally thought we saw improvements. Yeah, I, I thought the same thing, right? So yeah, yeah, I, I think we, we weren't crazy. So Dashi keeps that MP5 out. Nobody has gotten one point. Actually, Dallas just picked up one. Dallas... Focused on those spawns, focused on keeping Optic Gaming on the left side of the minimap as we rotate to Depot here in 12 seconds. But they're getting a lot of kills right now and kills at the right time. <laughs> there is going to be, what, like 10 total points scored on that first hard point. Is nobody really able to get set up? Of now, what can Empire do with the early control? It's Shotzi rallying over. Trying to deal with this first lane of troops. Got an awkward timing on one, I thought, but he might just get in behind both. I think he spotted TJ right before he got into the smoke as well. But as he tries to cut, uh, cross, he gets cut down. Optic now look to pounce inside of the hard point, but Clayster, Hook, and Illy are ready to greet him. Yeah, Dashy able to find that. It's only one bullet out of Krim okay. to take down Dashy. Takes him down. Now we're getting that trophy set up. Slasher trying to get up top. Here comes the push out of TJ and JCap. TJ able to find one. Where is the trade? JCap is there. Nice job by him. Can he find the second? He does. Able to get in. Not able to snap on the shot. See who's up top. Well, it looks like the rest of this time, you know, the Dallas Empire way. You take a look at the scoreboard. Look at the start out of the two young guns for Dallas. Illy and Shotzi both double positive. But, you know, you sort of expect that. You get the early rotation. You hold the str strong side of the map for that second hill. And now it's off to Gaming's turn here at Minecart. Yeah, this is where they need to make a statement and start to get back into this game. TJ right into the hard point. Is Optic fanning out around the hard point? The point man going to be J-Cap in towards Minecart as Dashy looks to follow him up. Hook's going to get dropped. Shotzi will fall as well. It's Illy trying to make a play all the way around the back, but Kenny able to pick that up. The numbers here for Dallas, they get the close spawn. They're just going to flood in. Optic spawning so far deep in the back behind Warehouse, and Dallas Shotzi will get again. in. Yeah, Shotzi with three. He was able to find the entry, then follows up with two more. Now he's alive inside the hill. Guess what? I'm in the cold corner, able to take down TJ. Green do go down for Dallas. Krim, they're going to be the last player here. Illy watching over him. With 15 seconds left, I think you take that if you're Dallas, right? You disrupted about 20, 30 seconds there. So a nice push from them. And Shotzi has just not slowed down. Yeah, I feel like that warehouse point's got to be big for Optic. Or Empire going to open up such a massive lead. But first, we'll get off the crates. He was a three on three for a moment before Kenny dropped. Now they all soar on in. Kenny, or sorry, Hook does a good job finessing. He'll stay up. He's going to be at a one on two here, and TJ is able to burst on through. That'll get TJ right into the hard point as he looks to hold the cross. It's a, what? I think a Simtex from Illy over the top that clears him out and opens up a path for Clayster to get into position. Shotzi. Yeah, yeah I think he got hit, hit by like three names. Yeah. But yeah, who, Shotzi with the knife, able to find that one, able to find the second on the TJ. Slide around, can't get the third. The movement was on point yeah. right there. I mean, you guys called him an onliner. You, you said he couldn't make it happen on land. Well, he gets it done on land. Now he's right back to his comfort zone. He expects some big maps out of Shotzi. Oh, Illy, did Illy get through? Oh, Dashi just able to spot him. Nice kills from Optic Amy on this rotation as well. You see how far away from the left side of the map that Dallas Empire are. You're gonna get this set up inside from Optic Gaming. This is a, a tight setup. Everybody inside the hill. They really have nobody on the outside. They're gonna force Dallas to try to get in. Clayster's gonna open things up. Dashy's gonna take the back. 
He's going to spot one, but that's going to be four dead. And guess what? When you hold it from the inside. Wait, TJ's still alive? Okay, finally, it's it, it's taken down. But when you hold it from that from that point inside, you know, you don't have reinforcements. One set of deaths, and the spawns will be flipped. What a break. The hill will be flipped. What a break from Empire. And as I said a minute ago, this is the one where Optic, I felt really had to get a strong hold, or Empire were going to start to run away with it. And that's exactly what they're doing. As everybody from Optic is going one by one, they're all getting cut down. The last member inside and TJ will get dropped. As this looks to end our first set of rotations with a healthy lead for Empire. Just a beautiful break there. And yeah, you said you try to hold it from inside. You're not going to get a yep. second wave and a second chance at the hold. Now, usually you have like one person, right? Just a little bit pushed well, up. Maybe you find one or two kills in a sneaky position. I feel like Slasher was kind of trying to be that guy, but he got, he was the first one to get caught because he looked to hold that forest lane with the AR. Yeah, but now back to middle. And guess what? Guess who's holding the right side? Is that what they want? That's going to be Dallas. Just feels like they're a step ahead right now. In both the slay and the and in. The rotations, Shotzi not slowed down, Illy right, but well, not really right behind him, but 17 and 12 from him, but it's all Shotzi, 27 and 14, and the stats on the other side are not going to look good for Optic Gaming with this score. Uh, basically, everyone getting smoked right now, especially Cap, the rough stat line midway through this game, so we'll take a look at the overall minimap and still spawning out deep as Optic Gaming. Empire had that spread right in front of Depot like they want. And when you have that number four nearly popping right in sec inside the next hard point, that is a fantastic position to be in. Plus, you have bathrooms control. I mean, you look at Hook, you look at Krim as well. They're just making this push so difficult for Optic. Nobody's been able to even get inside for Optic. This has been a clean first 15 points. Optic, though, they may get those close back left spawns, and I think they will, and they get inside the hill. So it's almost like Dallas pushed a little bit too far middle of the map and flipped the spawns for Optic Gaming. An opportunity for them to get right back into the game. If they get this hold, they're still going to be down 140 or so, but it looks a lot better if this is a great hold from Empire. Slasher doing damage from the top rope. That's going to be three in a row for Slasher as he's able to get the hold. They can test still there for a moment, but there's the all clearance as TJ and JCap pick up the pieces. This will get them right over the 100 point mark. And yeah, it's still a big lead for Empire, but ah, you don't get that break that, from that, Optic. That, that would have probably been the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah that would have probably been the game. Who's over first to minecarts? That number one in Shotzi will be set up in position first. Spawning close is Optic. They're going to go flying on in. That's a lot of kills now for Optic. That's all the kills now for Optic. Pushed up is going to be that number seven and Kenny as well as he's picking him up off spawn. This is back to back. Brilliant pushes from Optic. More time to go. Five in a row for Slasher. Five in a row from Dashy. The big multi kills from Kenny. And right back into this game they go. Yeah. Able to get that break just so clean. Nilly, though, on the flank, does get taken down. Dallas Empire right back through. Some nice breaks from Optic Gaming. TJ now with a multi. His duo and Dash, he was trying to get in. Does get taken down. So the final 10 seconds will go the Dallas Empire way. <laughs> it's still a 60. Yeah, point like, lead. it felt like that was such a big moment for Optic when they it got was, the break. It was. Yeah, but like it's still the lead's basically the same for Dallas. So the good, the good point is. They didn't open it up even bigger. But now you got to do what you can at this point and somehow get the flip as well. Five in a row there for Empire to cut them down. 60 points away from victory in this map one. It just comes down to the slaying hit. Well, there's four, so... I'm going to try to get as much time as they can. This is an opportunity, right, where Dallas may play for the spawns super heavy and they might not put a lot of pressure on the crates hill and this is where you can sort of earn some time back then it will come down towards that break it looks like dallas is going to give this one more go and i think that's key from them because if you give that 20 right back to optic they're only down 30 things are are looking a little bit better for them but a nice break is going to push them far across the map but now it's on this rotation hilly inside that corner that's going to be a freebie yeah, they win it at One my player card. inside green. That Yeah, that was going to be a, a free kill as well. So here we go. Can Optic Gaming get this break? Sometimes the best play. Just tuck away in a corner. And fantastic job Where's there Lily from Empire. Where's Lily going to spawn? 
Well, he's gonna spawn right behind one player, but Slasher reads it. But this is typically what we see, right? A player like Hook just sort of patrolling the hallways. But here's the pressure. Can Krim deal with it? Able to find the first one. Has his teammates to deal with the rest. And there's just one player left. And it's Jcap who has to stay alive and wait for his teammates. Hook tries to get through on the flank. Not quite able to do it. Presence here again from Optic Gaming. But that 60-point advantage for Empire. They've enjoyed it through most of this. Optic have contested some of the time. But it's simply not going to be enough. As the spawn of the reinforcements there yet again for Empire. They've just done a good job of... They've lost like a player or two, but haven't run into that like five down scenario that Optic found themselves in, or what was it, four down with TJ left. So they were still able to get the close spawn and hold on. All right, so now for Optic, you have to keep them off this middle hill. As we reset, go back. Nice shots by TJ, but also focus on the spawns. It's tough to do two things at once, and guess what? They already lost the spawns five seconds into the hill. Dallas Empire, they put so much pressure on bathrooms. They're able to push through. I mean, it's just tough, right? Because you, you can't let them get as much time as they want. They're trying to earn it and get back into the game. And Dallas, a wonderful play by them. Dallas, look at it. Close it out on this hard point. Just nine more points needed. Hook, 30 and 23 on a forest tree, but it's Shotzi with the 40 bomb. 40 and 23 with 90 seconds in the hard point. What a map from Shotzi. What a map from Hook. Illy and C6 not far behind. Just a brilliant job from Empire as they win. This is what it should look like when you outslay by 20 to 30, right? This is what the scoreline should look like. A little bit different than our first two map ones. Yeah, a little bit different. I still think, like, Cave and Ramaza sort of play into that story of, That's like... True. You can get out slayed and still rotate, right? If you're winning key battles because the spawns are so close. But yeah, Dallas, I, I mean, right from the start, right from the get-go, they had that 50, 60 point lead. They never let it go. There's the map one win for Empire. They do it in convincing fashion. I mean, really, once they got out to that 50, 60 point lead early in the game, they just never let it go. Every time it felt like Optic got a big break, it was like a break to just keep it close, right? It was never a break to really chip away at the lead. Just never had that moment where they could chain together a couple of hard points. Uh, Cap gets smoked. He goes 18 and 34. Is we'll take a look at the overall stats, but Shotzi, what a map! 41 on the board. Uh, what we already had uh, 49 dropped by Simp earlier today on Cave. We've had we've had some really brilliant individual performances early in this Chicago event weekend. Yeah, I, I mean, when you take a look at the stats, like damage-wise, Cap wasn't far behind TJ, and TJ dropped 30 kills, but yeah, 18 and 34. That's, that's a tough map for Cap, but yeah, Shotzi, uh, an absolute beast performance from him. I think that's what we were worried about a little bit with this team when it was formed. Like, we talk about all the talent on Optic, but I think if there was one worry, it was Cap. Like, Cap is not the skill level of the rest of his teammates. I think we could all agree there, and especially early in scrims for this squad, like, Cap was getting fried, and that was one of the big concerns, but it felt like he was kind of improving, and I thought TJ was the one really slumping for this team, but that was that kind of game from cap that i think we were worried about and he's got to be better in this series and this weekend if they're going to get some wins but now let's take a look at the scuff play of the game it's going to be shotzi going off he had a bunch of brilliant moments through that map one joe yeah i mean just go ahead and pick one right uh the knife, I mean, the knife it was pocket. an easy one yeah you had the knife i there was just so many plays right from the get-go where shotzi just take over i mean he had a minute 24 in the hard point he had the most hill time on his team the guy was literally doing it all but it's going to be Shotzi. Right before this, by the way, he had three kills that helped them break this. So just playing inside the hill is such a sneaky player. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be a bit of a Shotzi montage. I think this is when the, the knife comes out, right? No, it was right before this. Oh, yeah. right before this? Okay. All right. Well, never mind. Yep. But uh, we are going to take a look at the uh, challenger's schedule right after this. Is uh, If you missed the announcement, what, two weeks ago at the Dallas event with the shift to online, there's been some changes to how everything's going to go down with the schedule for the challenger's event. There's going to be a lot of them. There's going to be a lot of money on the line. Uh, we've got the Chicago Home Series. And then what? Chicago Challengers Open for 50, 15K going to be going on as well. Uh, the big one, the 50, is uh, what the first weekend of May. That's going to be going down the fifth. And yeah, we just had we just had one of those last weekend. So, yeah, Challengers is it's pretty lit right now. Yeah, some of the matches a lot of money. too. I, I tuned in a bit, and some of the matches were crazy. There's just there's a, I mean, we, we for for the most part, for Joe and I, we're always talking about the talent at the pro level because that's what we commentate and that's what we highlight for most of our career. But 
There is a, there's a wealth of talent just chomping at the bit and hoping to get into this. But next up, it'll be Search and Destroy. Last time these two teams played, Dallas just whooped them. It was like a 6-1, 6-2 scoreline. Uh, Dallas dominated that. They've been solid on our club peak for the most part this year. I think that map one was crucial for Optic if they were going to win this series, and they just came out flat. Well, I will say though, for Optic Gaming, like we we saw them play this map a few times in Los Angeles, and they were they were pretty darn good on it. So, yeah, while this is a, a good one for Dallas, they have plenty of film to study. They, we saw them make improvements on this map. You know what Dash you can do with this sniper, so definitely don't ca count them out of this one. Oh well, I accidentally paused my feed, Joe. So I'm gonna need you to go ahead and highlight this while I refresh. <laughs> Is that a problem? Because sure. I'm not on the yeah, right no, timeline anymore. Ahead, go okay. ahead and reconnect oh, to, the, to that feed. Whoops. His optics, they're gonna be on offense first. They're gonna go very fast towards this B site. Slasher opens things up with a first blood, and that, and that should be it. Quava with another one. B is wide open for the taking. Ook, what are you gonna decide to do? He's gonna rotate. Five versus three. TJ's going to find Krim on that rotation. This is a clean round out of optics. I mean, when you think about where they should excel this team, I mean, think about what, like the, the Optic Gaming team last year, and TJ and Dashy come in to improve that team. First event of the year, what? They're the number one and two in S&D, KD. Like, they came in to fix that woe for a previous team. I mean, we know that they are capable of absolutely, like, single-handedly dominating Search and Destroy, if you're optic, you should you should be solid in this mode. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, I, I didn't think they were gonna have a weak mode. Honestly, well, yeah, That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they, yeah. they should be solid search players. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, could yes. Oh yeah, I guess that applies to everything about this team. You should be good. Why aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You should be pretty good. Yeah, we were hoping so. Uh, well, first round, we we're able to do it. The only kill for Empire coming behind Pook. Everyone else falls flat. Bad, yeah. Pick for Dashy. Illy's gonna get caught. As Dashy looks to reposition, there's a second, just narrowly misses it, but Slasher connects at the same time. Slasher takes down two before dropping. Kenny in the mix as well. It's Shotzi and Krim left to clutch this up. They are both able to get kills to make this interesting. 2v3 with just under a minute to work with on offense. Yeah, Shotzi has bomb as well. Still the hot hand from game one. Slasher just watching the cross. Has a nade in his hand. This should hit. All right, so they know one's there. That's some free information. They know Shotzi still in this position. Maybe you have TJ work up towards the bomb. It looks like he's just watching the cross. Has to be a little bit careful. TJ's going to pop Deddy and try to make a push. And I like that. That sort of baits out Shotzi to hop on up. Slasher pushes right behind Ooh. that. Oh, Dashy. Okay. Ooh, with a nasty little snipe. What? Let's see this again. A little bunny hop at the end, too. Wait, yeah. what? All right. Okay, he hits the snipe. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. that looked ludicrous. Like, I thought he had hit him through the wall and everything when I first saw it. Uh, nutty shot there from Dashy. Two, oh, well, two good rounds for Optic, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, three total kills now for Empire. Like, these like, haven't even been close rounds. It's just the first bloods, and they're going down just so fast, right? Like, Optic's just catching them on rotation. So you see Optic spreading them pretty pretty well out, but oh, there's another first blood out of TJ. Yeah, I think Krim gets a little bit overzealous, goes for the wide peak from Mound, and TJ makes him pay. Yeah, you're not going to win this. Well, hello. Not going to win hello. this if you're down in numbers early every single round. Is all the one-on-ones going the way of Optic Gaming. Similar to round one where I think it was the first two kills for Optic. Hook thing got one, but they got snowballed behind that. Can Hook make the play? Nice little snap. His cap just gets obliterated. Hook's able to get away with his life. Dashy, though, hits the snipe. It's a quick one. On to Clay inside a ditch. Don't do it. Don't do it, Hook. Well, Kenny inside a ravine. Yeah, Dashy watching over him. I thought Shotzi may be able to make a play, but Quavo right there with some nice shots with that M4. Cleans the round up. And I mean, yeah, for Dallas, it's pretty simple, right? It's just the early rounds. It's all Optic Gaming's way right now. 
You think about what we just watched with Seattle Surge and the Gorillas. What did Seattle have a lot of success in on their defenses? It was retaking. But you have to be able to at least have even numbers, you, you would think, to, to retake the bomb sites. And Optic, they're dominating. Three rounds, three first bloods for Optic. And that theme continues. Slasher gets top. Stun checks mid. That stun probably hit two, three players in the mid. That's going to set up TJ for another first blood. Kenny follows it up again. Kenny they obliterates are Illy so well. as Empire gets throttled in another round. And this is seemingly going to be the opposite of what we saw the last two times these guys played, right? Like Optic dominate the map one. Empire dominate the map two. About to flip that on its head in this. Wow. I, I mean, it's just wherever Dallas is going, Optic's already there, already ready. Whoever is like sort of making the play calls right now for Optic is on point, right? They're just reading them like a book because they are ready. They are in the positions. They are L triggering their pushes. It's just been such easy kills for Optic Gaming. See if the hot play calling can continue. This Dallas just desperately... Need a round, need some Trying kills. To find something. Need a first blood. Yeah, there's literally nothing positive to talk about. They're just getting obliterated in this map, too. Maybe Illy can find the first blood. Oh, there's going to be a smoke that's going to allow Kenny to duck away. The rest of the teammates layered out towards being mid. And Dallas getting pretty aggressive as well towards the A site. You see Hook and Krim inside. Inside of Broken. With Hook's position, Krim came back off. That's exactly what's happening. He's going to rotate back to B. They there we go. A this first is a blood. B hit and finally a first blood. Yeah. It was Krim versus TJ. Krim got to be a little bit careful. And well, he has a trophy. Looks like they want to wrap this back towards A. But look how far pushed now up Hook, Hook is. Yeah, yeah. He's so far pushed up. This should be a free kill unless he gets awkward timing. They're going to check it, though. They're going to check it, and Hook is just going to get dropped. <laughs> oh, that sucks. You're like, I'm in such a good position. I'm not in a good position. Exactly. Oh, man. What? It was just a stun. Yep. The stun like, hit him in his forehead. Now Kenny gets in behind. The round falling apart for Empire. He's Ooh. almost able to snap onto another. Nice shot from yeah, Illy. Plant. Yeah, just stays up. Dashy now by himself. Yeah, he's got to plan it right now. He's got to plan it right now. He gets off of it. That'll be the round. Does find Shotzi. But Dallas, they get on the board. That looks so funny from Hook's POV. Because you know in his head, he's just like, crap. <laughs> what? And, and you saw what he was doing, right? He had to watch both mid. He had to watch their side, right? It's still a tough position. Uh, but it's one of those positions where you can catch them off guard. Just that time, Kenny had the stun ready. Stun checks it. And uh, that's GG. <laughs> Uh, can Empire go back to back? Finally, some kills to go and a round to go with it. Gilly had the angle for just a minute, but not enough time to pull the trigger. Nah, it's not an easy one. It's a nasty bit of cover from Slasher. Well, Slasher's able to find that first blood on Hoot towards the B site. And I think with that first blood, Optihimi can over rotate towards A. That's exactly what they're doing. Kenny in a sneaky position with this M4. Such a great game out of him at 9-4. and four. Double positive. Dashy almost catches the corner shoulder of one player, but he gets taken down. Shotzi trying to work this. Surely they hear him here. But I think it's just Kenny. He's not moving. He's not giving up this position. He just saw the tip of Krim's head. Now through on the cross. A sneaky position is going to pay off. Right back to where he goes. Krim tries to peek it. Kenny hits the shots yet again. Numbers to Optic. Illy last alive. TJ's got Ooh. the angle. Clean round from Optic. That's it, it's Kenny again yeah. who just who just swings the round for them. He's able to find the multi kill. I mean, what we're what five rounds in and he's on eleven. He's averaging yeah it, it, over two kills around. And I thought for a second he was gonna bite on shots. He's stomping around in ditch, but nope. Just plays it patiently. Holds that edge. Knows he has a free one where they got to cross the bomb. And then a second big win there against Krim. Is Krim knew right where he was. And all he had was his head to take off. He does just that. 5-1. Optic. And as you said, Kenny 11-4 and four in six rounds. Nearly averaging two kills a round.
Oh, I thought I thought we were five runs, and okay. But still, insane stuff from him. You know, Joe, just like you have to keep me honest and keep hold me accountable. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I'm here yeah. for you too, buddy. I appreciate that. I'm a man of numbers and statistics. Yeah, the Maven numbers. We know all yeah, about yeah. them. As Dallas gets very aggressive, A side once again. See Ilian Krim uh -oh. working that mound area. The smokes Ooh. go down. None of the nades hit. They just miss Krim. Yeah, I thought those were going to connect and take one of them out, but a little a little bit far over Illy. Looks like Optic might just go right up the middle. It might go right up mid-map. Krim, Krim gets taken down. Kenny's going to spot Hook. I don't know if who knows this, but they're just in between both, both the setups defensively. Yeah, that's, that's just a gimme. Kenny with his 12th of the game. A little time to work with. Shotzi, maybe a chance to do it, but Flasher checks the corner. There's the kill. TJ in position. An optic pick Empire apart on our club. That was some beautiful search to destroy from Optic, Joe. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it was. It just felt like they were a step ahead, but I, I think the key thing is just the first bloods. That That's really what it comes down to, especially on their offenses. They were just... Bullying well, Dallas six Empire. First bloods, right? Six they had, one yeah, for Dallas. Yeah, six first bloods. And yeah, I mean, Kenny, 12 and four. We talked about it a lot, but just the whole team. It was just, it just was easy. It felt very easy for Optic Gaming. Beautiful win there to bring it back to 1 1, as that was some of the cleaner and more dominant search and destroy we've seen. You said you've, you know, you've seen them on the map before. They look good. They look even better there. The first bloods, just so, so dominant. Any type of one-on-one, -on -one. it didn't even feel like it was one-on-ones half the time. Like they just had the better position. They were L-triggered. They were reading it ahead of time. And as you said, just whoever was their shot caller was just absolutely on point. We'll take a look at the stats from that. Kenny obviously going to be the standout man at 12 and four, but as he's triple positive, you can say the same for Slasher, TJ, <laughs> Ashy five and one. What's sing sing sing? I don't even know what that's called. As he's, uh, <laughs> I was going to say sing tuffle or something. <laughs> Were you about to say sing? I don't I was like, know what? what I was gonna say, Joe. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. But I, I, I mean, for for optics, that was just yeah. They they were reading Dallas so well. I don't know if it was the the VOD review that went into that or what, but they were on point. Well, we have to go to a commercial break, Joe, and it's not for to get the map three ready. It's because I've been told that I need to powder myself as I look very sweaty. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Quick commercial break, and we'll get into the game three domination.
Call of Duty. Call of Duty League is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Stay connected to what matters most with the best value in wireless. Scuff Gaming, the official controller of the Call of Duty League. Let's take a look at the U.S. Army tactical play. And I don't, I don't know what's tactical about this. This is just unhuman ability from Dashy as he hits some nutty snipes. Uh, one of the best snipers in the game, and he makes it look easy here. Yeah, I mean, he just does something with that sniper, right? That I, I think all of us w wish we could do. But yeah, one I mean, day. such a strong sniper. Our cloth peak. I mean, the guy's just an absolute unit on the map. What a dominant effort from Optic. They'll tie it up 1-1. One, one. Uh, I was a little bit worried this series uh, might get away from us, but this isn't the final round one, right? We have four round one matchups going on today with our eight teams participating in the Chicago Home Series. Your game field marquee matchup coming up for your final match of the night is going to be Huntsman versus Subliners. And I think what's interesting for this is if you're a casual fan or maybe haven't followed it as much, you probably think this is very lopsided, right? Like if you take a look at the CDL points, this looks as lopsided as any matchup you could possibly have. But everything we've been hearing from Crowder, the coach of FaZe, or around the league amongst pros and coaches is that subliners with Mackin, and in this off time where they've been scrimming, they've improved massively. I mean, they're ta it's a talented roster, right? I I'm excited to watch that match after this. You look at the New York uh, lineup. It's a, it's a team that has always loved playing, I, I think, like the that Chicago lineup. Like, Attach and Zuma, I've always looked forward to playing against like Scump and Formal, right? It's just something they've been confident in. Not a lot of people can say that. So, uh, next match should be a ton of fun. That's all of Advanced Warfare. Like, if you think back, yeah, or, they've had no problem. Uh, think of that. God, that what stage one matchup in Call of Duty World War II. That was one of the crazier finals we've had. Like, there's been some wild matchups when you think of like Scump and Formal versus those two players. Yeah, yeah, right. I, it just always just felt like Tatches. Like, yeah, I love playing those guys. Oh, without delay, right into the domination we go. Map three underway. This group B match is tied up in one apiece. As J-Cap gets right up to the van and looks to make a play. There's the first kill, but unfortunately he gets swarmed. Yeah, it's a nice push from Dallas just right away. Typically we see that B flag cap pretty quickly by the team that spawns a crim was trying to sneak on through he wants that a flag and well some spawns come in one spawns mid brick wall one spawns by c as optic gaming behind that they might be able to find an opening quavo is or sorry kenny is going to be top l and he's going to get on the b flag so those were some uh some wild spawns right there for optic gaming la it looks like it worked out, though. They might get the neutral at C as well. This actually is perfect for Optic. They've got them spawning towards what? green. This could be <laughs> perfect. Where is Dallas going to pop? They're going to pop down towards yellow and rally over. You already have J-Cap inside of L, but he's going to get smoked. It was a two-cap with a neutral for a moment there, but the scoreline just 14 to 13 right now. Kenny, I thought, was going to go off inside of that B spot, but now Empire's got four players onto it as they look to balance back into it. Wow, what a, what a sequence that was. Yeah, and I think Dallas has done a really good job, you know, considering the fact that it was two two flies and a neutral. They're able to get that CB set up. So right off that, a nice job by the Dallas Empire to bounce back. Dallas Empire bounced back, and they absolutely needed to, uh, kind of based on how that map two went. Look at a rally back here. We're tied up at 22 to 22. Two cap and a neutral now for Empire. Oh, yeah, Let's yeah, get right to an Astro Gaming listening. Get top out, get top out. Jumped out of the roof. Top stack, top stack, top stack, top stack. Where's he going? Yo, uh, he's I stand. Go to, go to. Go, go in, go in, go in. Astro was top stack. I got stack. I'm going to watch C, I'm going to watch C. Watch him for it. Let's go in, let's go in. I'm watching him for it. Watch the way, guys. Watch the way. I'm playing my life. Once for it, half ball, half ball, half ball. Two half ball. Dashy on it, Dashy. Two half ball. I'm giving up C. I'll give a C as well. Three! Oh, fuck. One shot half ball, yo. Get in B. Watch top out. They're gonna come top out. Once we get away from them, Yep. They're doing their door. Weak. He's weak. He's weak. He's weak. Come on, he's top oh, L. Yo, 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 he's he's in their door. I'm uh, nading the white barrel. I got one. One could be top L. He's on AC. Hop. AC. Hop. AC. Hop. I hear you. He's AC. Yo, door, door, door. Jumped on the AC. Jumped on the AC, guys. Butting B. Another one in B. Another one in B. Yeah. Get out. Get out. Oh no. 
P1, one shot. Yeah, yeah, P1, yeah, P1, yeah, P1, yeah, P1, P1, one green. He's top L. I'm top L. I'm looking top L. Top L dead. Top L dead. I'm coming top L right now. I'm B. I'm B. They're gonna get me. No one floor now. I spawn green. I got one. Another one. I got top L. I'm in map. Dead. I don't. Top AC. Top AC. He's on top of me. Yo, yo, green floor. Slow down. 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 I like is the tail end of that. Kind of clay saying slow down. Oh, down. Oh, it, know, didn't see him. it looked like he was getting away Cat. from him a little bit. Clay just kind of telling the troops, slow down, let's get out of this. Is they're in a tough position right now? Yeah, I mean, having a great game, yeah, always being that, you know, vocal leader. And I, I just think that's important, right? Because sometimes the game can feel pretty darn quick. And yeah, you, you just got to slow down, L trigger a little bit, find an easy kill or two. As I, I mean, going into that list then, right? They were able to get that CB set up. They held it for a majority of time. This is this is great for the Dallas Empire, considering the fact you spawn on that Charlie flag. That's not the preferred side. Things are looking good for them. They did have a 15-point lead, though, that has started to disappear. I think regardless, though, to your point, just with the sides, you'll take this. And now, with just over a minute to play, they oh, they don't quite finish B, so B's just going to get neutral. Over to C goes Dashy. They're going to spawn on him at C. So it's gonna be Slasher that has his work cut out for him. There's gonna be a lot of Empire players now flooding towards him. They smoke one side, they hit the other. They're gonna know Slasher's here in a second. Nice little snap from Clayster to take him out. They're gonna hold B as well. Nice job from Empires. We're tied up at 62. I, I mean, they get this AB. This could be a, you know, eight to 10 point swing for them where they could have that lead going into the second half. j trying to do what he can inside of B. Waiting for his teammates. You see TJ inside the middle of the map. But as he sets up this pinch, he's going to be the only player on this side of the map. And now shots. He's trying to work on a neutral. He's able to get this neutral for the final 30 seconds. This could be big. Slasher, though, goes. Oh, what? Slasher runs right into him. And he's going for the cap. This could be a three cap. But the B neutral is there for Optic Gaming. But like we talked about, any lead for Dallas, I think, is just huge. Considering the fact that they spawned at sea. 10 seconds left, no cap for Optic, no kills for Optic. Dallas dominates the final minute of play. And what will the final lead be as the final tick goes in? 11 point advantage, 82 to 71 for Empire. A great first half, but obviously still very manageable for Optic. Yeah, manageable. It's not like it's out of reach, you just have to have a nice CB hole and maybe try to get that E, e flip, but uh, it's going to be tough. We know Dallas, a very solid domination team. How quickly can they flip it or, well, can they flip it? Two on the home flag. Three towards B and where Optic found no success at B off the break. Dallas are able to get it very quickly. Optic want to push up mid-map and try to go for the flip instantly. Doesn't seem the kills are going to go their way. Hook and Clayster shut it down. That's early two cap for Dallas. Yeah, a bit of a different break off where they send three players. And instead of just going towards A, they like try to almost like trap the players inside of B. But the help was there for Dallas Empire. Shotzi has not slowed down from his map one in the respawn. 15 and 9 from him. Slasher trying to work the A wall, and, and now you see the Dallas hold coming through. Shotzi's position just so strong. That's a five spree now for Shotzi after the triple. Able to get away with his life as well as he continues to finesse towards mid-map. Now he peeks. Now he fries. Oh, almost able to slide and get away from that. 18 and 10 from Shotzi, and that lead that didn't look that scary going to the half, now up to 21. A second by second into this second half, things get out of reach for Optic Gaming. I mean, respawn-wise, Dallas has had control in that map one from start to finish, and so far in this map three from start to finish. Got to remember though, what was the map that you know Optic had in their grasp in Optic or in Los Angeles? It was this map three, and while well, Dallas were able to put together a crazy comeback, can Optic Gaming LA do it against the Dallas Empire? Yeah, what was it? Like, they were up, what, 30, 40 with a minute? No, I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was like 30 or 40 point lead it was with like, like 90 was seconds like, or so, something like yeah, that. It was it was like 20, 30 points with like 90 seconds. Yeah, it was, it was a something lot. Something where we thought it was over, basically. Like, unless Optic screwed up, and uh, they did just that. 
<laughs> yeah, they did. They did. But uh, they're able to get the A flag. They have AB now. They're in the strong position. This is their chance. Yeah, this is this, this is their shot to, to get right back into it. It's all on Kenny and Dashy to try and hold this push. There's still going to be one more there. Clayster behind the barrel. Slasher now to hold it from top. As TJ, I think, is working the flank. Can TJ get in there in time to make the play? He's able to pick up one. Shotzi. Now they're going to have to worry about him. TJ wins another. This is huge from TJ to keep the pressure off. TJ, that hip fire hit too. Is that three for TJ? That flank was massive to keep them in control of B. Yeah, I mean, the players on Dallas Empire can't get on B unless he's taken down, right? It's just free kills from him from that upper window. And now you see the trap. I think Illy actually might have gotten through here. TJ's able to find another double. But now it's down to 16 with two minutes remaining. You get 12 points per minute when you hold two flags. So this still has to be a very good two flag hold unless they want to go for a neutral. You have to imagine Dallas has it in them at least to get a neutral at B. As it's going down right now, Illy, Placer, they're all on top of it. The neutral comes oh. through. Now Optic Gaming, they have to go. Shasi just slides right under one. Dashi and TJ, though, able to take out three. That's B cap, though, for Empire. Yeah, he flipped, though. One player sneaking on three. It's Clay. Uh, going back is what TJ. TJ's going to have a huge one on one here. It's a huge one on one, and he oh. can't win it. Clayster with the drop shot. Clay's able to win it. That'll be the flip. Luke won it. Hook won the gunfight onto well. B. I think he actually takes down two. That might have ended the game. That sequence there from Empire might have done it. Well, yeah, maybe. Four go down for Dallas Empire right at the same time. It's still a 12-point lead. They can hold it with two. But you see a neutral going down at C. There's one player at A. Clay is going to get taken down by Kenny. Kenny now on this neutral. It's going to be close. There's one more player. He's shooting at the trophy. Illy pops on over. The smoke was down. So now for Optic Gaming to win, they need two flags and a neutral, but they have to get some kills. And the kills right now are all for Dallas Empire. I thought he was going to land right in front of the trophy. He was going to kill him shooting at the right, trophy. The like, yeah, yeah. It, almost, it almost worked out. Uh, he doesn't Kelly win the one-on-one. -on -one. Kenny gets yeah. dropped. Illy goes huge. That more than likely is the game. Because you'd need a three cap now to get this done. A great rally from Optic, but Empire do just enough to hold up and hold off in the final stretch. Is I, I mean, to me, it's just like, I mean, the difference in the score really is that first half, right? Like, it's the first half. I, if Optic Gaming, I think Optic did a great job on the second half spawning on the C flag. Their second half was much better than their first half. It's like, it's like both teams the did first it. Half, both teams did pretty yeah, well from the offside. Right? A little bit better. Yeah. For Optic, where they have that A flight controlled, things are looking good. But instead, Dallas clutches up like they just do all the time. Yeah. A couple of key gunfights win by Illy. A couple of key gunfights win by Hook. Shotzi was incredible the entire map. Well done by Dallas Empire. And obviously, it comes down to a lot of moments. But if you just think about the opening moments of the game, right? Optic, typically for that A side, as you mentioned, you get that early B control. They weren't able to do it. On the other side, it's early control for Dallas as Optic try to push three up mid, so you get those extra points there as Dallas gets a two cap really quickly. I mean, that comes down to five points for God's sake. So you could just pick a handful of moments where it maybe cut it on Optic's way, but it doesn't. And it's Shotzi again. 30 and 17 from Shotzi. Clayster right there with him at 28 and 13 as we'll look at the stats here in just a moment. Some really big performances on the side of Empire. Yeah, and I mean, we're gonna take a look at the stats, but I, I mean, you know, it's a six-point game, right? It's just a, a few of those kills go a little bit differently for Optic Gaming. A few of those one-on-ones down the stretch, and this could have been their map number three. Well, yeah, and like you, uh, I mean, what, there's one player even in cap. Everybody else is pretty significantly negative other than Quavo and Neg1. Like, they got smoked really from that standpoint. They still kept it close. I mean, obviously, in a game like Domination, it's so much more about control than having these wild slaying sprees for the most part, but... Valiant job from Optic, just not quite enough. Big win there from Empire to now take a 2-1 edge in this series as we'll head to another hard point. We'll see if Optic can take this. Last time they played in LA, I believe they split the hard points uh, in different fashion, but a split nonetheless. Optic got to win this if they're going to push it to a map five. Yeah, what well, we're doing a Hackney Yard again, so we're going to stay on Hackney. I don't believe these two played this last time. I, I'll, I'll have to check. I remember it was Gunrunner, but I, I forget the fourth hard point map. I'm going to... I'm going to take a look really quick, but I don't, I think this is new in the series. So I believe it is. 
Uh, yeah, they, they played Ramaza okay. uh, in, in L.A., so... Well, let's take a look. Before we get into this, show, I want to take a look at the PS4 damage dealt leaderboard. And uh, yeah, it's going to be Shotzi that dominated. I mean, he had that incredible map one. He drops 40 plus. I had the great map three <laughs> here as well. But not only the kills, he was putting in the damage throughout the course of that map one. Is Shotzi, I mean, who knows, man? Uh, I, I, know, I know maybe he started a little bit slow this year, but he's on his way to be one of the best players in the league. The guy's been lights out lately. I, I mean, it's just like how quickly he's improved right he's already won a home series in los angeles and i i think that weekend just gave him the confidence that he needed because you know that we talked about the role change right he's just sort of running dead silence now he can do whatever he wants to do instead of running that trophy and since that point we know how talented he is how good he is with the movement and he's just shown it every single home series since then yeah, like from the smoke trophy, you know, you put that in Hook's hands and he still seems to be, you know, going around even or positively. He's still putting up good numbers and Shotzi was just struggling in that position. Shotzi just seems very, very, very comfortable now in this lineup. But Empire up 2-1. Staying on Hackney. We'll see if Optic can get us to a search and destroy. We started the day off with two three O's. This one potential to go the distance. And then one final match. Again, it's going to be your game fuel marquee matchup the final one of the night huntsman versus subliners which i i hope uh, i hope that's as thrilling as i think it might be well that'll be a fun one but we think we think at least right i mean if it's the new york with 10 cdl points and probably not but if it's like this new new york that we expect then yeah it should be a great match well it's empire with the favorable spawns as they'll look to hold this right side of the mini map that tire shop side See what kind of lead they can push out to. Shotzi continues right where he left off. A great performance here behind the barrels. They start soaring out and finally we'll be able to pick him up. His empire get into the hard point. Dashi and TJ now coming from the top rope, looking to get whatever picks they can. Optic though, still spawning out deep for the next hard point. Yeah, Dashi doing a good job just staying alive inside the hill. Who's finally gonna take him down? Well, both TJ and Slasher. A Shotzi. Shotzi, nuts, Shotzi finds three more kills. Six in one start from him with that multi-kill. He's going to get on the hill, earn some time. Optic Gaming trying to flip the spawns, maybe, but we know how difficult it is. Dashy, TJ, and Jcap all get taken down. So you're going to have Clayster inside the hill with that AR in a, in a prime position. Now we'll flip on over to Tire Shop. How well can Empire hold this? If you think about the first hard point for the most part, and they got the early setup, they did a great job outside of a couple of nice Optic Gaming breaks. Just look how deep out Optic is spawning all the way toward back office. We got 20 yeah, seconds off of this already. They're not even across the halfway point of the map. I, I was just going to say, you might not even, you might throw one or two attempts at this with how much time's off the off the clock already. Shotzi just playing around smoke. Jeez, Guess what? He's going to find man. three more. That's a five spree. 12 and two start from Shotzi. A slasher's got one kill. TJ's yeah, got I mean, two. He's got, Shotzi's yeah. 12 and two. <laughs> like, they're just getting fried. The youngster's yeah. going off. Now the multi-kill in from Illy. Shotzi back to work. <laughs> Keeps on map, soaring through them right across the map. Just get out of their way. Oh, man. They are just running and running and running. Running and gunning. I don't care. They just don't care. I like that. I like that, Joe. You're a man of many accents. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a video. I don't remember. I don't know where that <laughs> came from. <laughs> this is pretty standard, though. When you think about this map and having that right side spawn to start, they're up 50. And it, it, you expect that, right? If you're off, the, you expect yep. to be down. So you got to hope they're not frustrating. Even though Shotzi's been lighting you up, even though you've had a poor start from Slasher, in a way, you expect it. You know it's going to be tough in the early going. You just can't let it get under your skin. And now's when you try to rally back. Yeah, I mean, since that point, though, since they've gone on that crazy, it's, there's been a lot of green in the kill feed. Like, Optic have brought it back, and, you know, they've gotten a lot of time on this. The problem is, is you have this 30, 40-point lead, and they weren't able to catch up to this on Gen Runner. Can That's they true. finally, like, you know, have that lead switch? Or will Dallas always be one step ahead of them? Because... That's what we've seen so far in the respawns. Well, this is the moment. This is where we've seen teams, I think, improve so much over the course of the year is this green control 
into what three or four down and i flipped the docks we've seen it so many times you saw it a bunch of times for the dallas home series that's four kills for optic a great hold again pushed up his cap before he drops four for optic and four for empire right after look how far out optic spawns all the way kind of bottom tire shop now as much as you need to think about these next 35 seconds you really need to start to think about a flip as well and the flip's going to be gifted to him spawning out is jcap they'll be spawning dockside they can sit a little bit of pressure at this to try and contest as well but this could work out favorable at least for the next hard point for optic yeah, yeah, I think you would have loved that scrap time. Uh, and they got to be careful because, yeah, they have the spawns right now, but Dallas is running. They're going to try to flip it one more, and they're getting a lot of kills. They are getting all the kills they may need. Krim trying to sneak inside. Yellow, nope. Optic, hold on. So we talked about it a few times on Gunrunner, right? There was a few hills, especially Warehouse, where Optic had to hold to bring themselves back into it. This has to be that hill. A good 40 or 50 will only bring them, you know, within reach of, what, 10 points, 10, 15 points. So for Optic Gaming, this could potentially be the game right here. Let's take a look at the minimap. As they look to make this push. So far, Optic holding on. But Clay and Illy find a pair of kills. May not be enough as Kenny's got the cross with that M4. Dashy. Now five in a row for him as well. And this is the hold you wanted to see as Dallas continue yeah. to spawn all the way out the opposite side of office. And yes, they did it, right? Yep. That, 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 yep. that was a great hold from them. And, and again, like, you, you take a look at the scoreboard. Shotzi still having a great game, but it doesn't matter, right? Just because of that hold where you get 50 to 60 seconds. Feels like some of the guns of Optic starting to heat on up. Still, you need a little bit more, I think, out of Slash, right? 8 and 17 with that M4. We'll see what he can do on this second set of rotations. In comes Optic. TJ trying to find an opening through mid. Not going to find a great timing there as TJ will shoot him in the back. The play behind the smoke, simply not enough. Is This is where Shotzi had, what, two triples, I think, the first time we were here? This is playground. Yeah. yeah. I don't think TJ even saw Krim in that pocket behind the barrel, so that's going to be an easy one for Krim. Nice shots from Slasher over the top, but I mean, if they, it looks like this is going to the same time as it went the first time through, where Empire get a majority of this time, they have spawns for Tire Shop, and then suddenly all that work Optic did to get back into it, they're going to have that major deficit yet again. Yeah, I, <laughs> uh, you, you would hope that Optic would be able to break this hill, but I mean, this is wonderfully done by dallas and the, the pressure's not even on their spawns at all they've been getting hill time they've been controlling tire shop as you said and they increased the lead by what 35 35 there and yeah not a place you really would expect it to happen but they're able to do it and they did it safely now optic had no success here last time to try and get in on these spawns they found several kills this could be the opening behind the smoke everyone from optic source forward place her simtex at least able to stagger the push for a moment by the time slasher gets his ar in position unfortunately all of his teammates have dropped and now your ar is your point man and there's the hold again from dallas up 70 looking to close this series now hey, that lead they just couldn't get ahead of it uh, a few times when a fellow optic gaming were we're bringing it back it was another big hold by the dallas empire very similar to map number one Cap trying to do what he can, but with 10 seconds left, the focus is going to be on smoke stack at hill number three. Maybe you could try to lock Dallas in, you know, towards this side of the map for as much time as you can, but it's, it's just going to be difficult from, from this point on. Oh, hell, hell of a nade in to finish off TJ as well from that top office window. You've got a border on flawless now if you're opted to bring it back. I don't know how they can do this. It'd be one of the more impressive comebacks we've seen. To be fair, a lot of the wild comebacks I feel like have been on this map, just not necessarily not yeah. necessarily from as big a deficit as Optic is facing, but on this map nonetheless. I'll tell you what, they've done a darn good job of this hill. They've what picked up 30 points. One that's uh, a little bit more contested. Four go down. J Cap's gonna make it number five, and Dallas are gonna get on this. If they get these 15 seconds, you probably think it's all but over. How many times have we seen yeah, Shotzi like multi-kill pop up? Hey, he's 32 and 17. <laughs>
He's on another four spree. The guy's just having the time of his life. Oh, uh, yeah. This is one of the more impressive series we've seen from someone, at least in the respawns. The search, obviously, nothing really positive for Dallas, but the respawns. <laughs> Shotzi has been insane. They just need four more points as they look to finish it off inside of office. Placer looks for the opening. TJ shuts it down. Optic just holding on. And, and I mean, listen, if you, I don't know, coming into this, we knew that Dallas was the better team all year. They have been the better team. And we know what you looking, taking a look at Group B. I'll tell you what, Optic have played this series pretty darn well. So you have to feel pretty good thinking the other two opponents in this are the LA Gorillas and the Seattle Surge, right? So there's still very much a chance for Optic Gaming. Uh, barring some kind of miracle flip here. Yeah. This is over, but they still have to contest the rest of this time. Number seven is going to be the one that has to make a play. Kenny's going to have to do something nuts. He's not able to do it. They finish it inside of office. 250 to 208 is Empire. Win our third series in our first round here at the Chicago Home Series. And Shotzi. What a series he had statistically. The man was nuts. He was, uh, yeah, doing whatever he wants. Triple kill, triple kill, triple kill, triple kill, triple kill. I mean, listen, when, when Clay's got two minutes and 20 seconds, two minutes of those are probably a tire shop where he's just hanging out with an AR. Yeah. Uh, we, we saw what they were doing on that second hill. I think we weren't even getting close, right? Like sometimes we see some smokes go down. Maybe one player trying to make a sneaky play can try to get inside, but there was none of that. Uh, they just control tire shop and that first hill so, so well. Well, we'll take a look at the overall stats so you guys can just see how ludicrous this was. Uh, really dominant from Shotzi. You pointed out Clay as well. I think it was Hoop right there with him who had a solid game as well. Sorry, Crim6 had a solid game as well. No, who was it? Hoop. Yeah, Hoop, 32 and 24. Sorry, he had a... He had a big one as well. Um, just dominant. I mean, I know it's a 42-point victory, so it's a close game. But slang-wise, uh, another fantastic performance is Empire looking to bounce back from their disappointing performance uh, for their home series two weeks ago.